since it looks like I'm on vacation, this video I'm going to give you some tips about staying on track when you go away from home without having to track macros, count calories and weigh out all your food. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodi and I help you change your beliefs so you can change your body, your health and your life. So it looks like I'm on vacation, but I'm actually on what I like to call staycation. I'm literally staying five minutes down the road from where I normally live. But the reason I'm here is we have gone into lockdown recently in Queensland, Australia. And I thought, why not spend lockdown since I am not going to be able to go anywhere, why not spend it with a view? Hence the different setup in this video. Now I've come here with my phones, my laptop, my tripod, and I didn't bring digital scales and all of that. I really couldn't be bothered even though it would have been very easy for me. I thought it would be a good time to kind of have a break from strict tracking and counting and eat a little bit more intuitively. And I actually think vacation is a really good time to do this. And if you have spent time tracking your macros properly and actually using that process to help increase your awareness around food and how your body responds to eating certain foods and certain quantities of food, then you should feel pretty confident to be able to go away without scales and stay on track without really having to track. All you need to do really is be mindful of what you're consuming in terms of making sure you're kind of balancing your meals out with a good source of protein, some veggies, some carbs, and then fats are usually easy to get in. Just by being mindful though of what you're eating and then also assessing your hunger, should be enough for you to stay on track towards your goals. Now, if your goal is weight loss, I would actually recommend coming out of a deficit for the duration of your vacation and realize if you are coming back up to maintenance, what that means is you shouldn't be as hungry as you normally are. And it also means because you're eating around maintenance, you won't gain weight. Now, depending on how long you've been dieting for, you might need to reduce your maintenance intake a little bit from what it started, but you don't really need to work that out when you go away. Just eat until you kind of feel satisfied, don't overdo it, and be mindful of including enough protein in your meals. So long as you get back on track, once you get back home, you won't have gone backwards, you won't have like ruined your progress, you'll be able to just keep moving forward. It's really not worth stressing about tracking when you go away. And unless you're like a bikini competitor or something and you have to, but if that's not you, then why not have a break and actually test your skills because tracking macros gives you the skill to eat more intuitively. Something else I like to do is when I am at home and I am tracking, I like to pay attention to what my meals generally are composed of, what my snacks are composed of in terms of like macros, right? So just say I mostly have carbs and protein as my first meal of the day, then when I am away, I will try and match that. And in my head, then I'll kind of know it's like equivalent. And just say I usually have like carbs and fat and protein for lunch, and I kind of know the portion size, like I can see that in my head, then I'll try and match that when I'm away. And one last thing I like to do is really save up more calories for one meal of the day that I eat out and then try and keep the other meals of the day high in protein and lower calories. So just say you're going out for every single meal, like pick one that you really want to enjoy and just eat whatever, for me, that is usually dinner. And then the other meals, you kind of have to be a little bit more, I wouldn't say strict, but more mindful of what you're actually consuming. When I'm on vacation, something else I often have more of is drinks with calories in. At home, I drink a lot of water and black coffee, sparkling water. I don't have a lot of calorie dense drinks. So that's something you wanna be mindful of as well, making sure you, I guess, you don't have to restrict them, but be mindful again of 
how many you're consuming and kind of limit them like to one or two a day. That is all for this video. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. I am hoping we get out of lockdown soon and I will see you back at my other place, but who knows? It's already been extended once. It's likely to get extended again, but anyway, I will see you in the next video.